Poison hemlock, or as it's known by its Latin name, as Conium maculatum, this plant can be either a biennial or a short-lived perennial, and it lives in a habitat of waste places, riverbanks, and roadsides. The plant grows between 2 and 8 feet tall, and has a white flower which is in bloom between May and August. The flower has five regular parts or petals, and the flowers can be seen in umbel clusters, with entire bracts beneath them. The plant has alternate leaves, and the leaves are divided and carrot-like, and when spread out, they form an equilateral triangle. The base of the leaves are enlarged and sheath the stem, and the leaf stalks are hairless and ill-scented when bruised. The stem is hollow, smooth, and has purple spots, and the root is white and carrot-like. This plant is deadly poisonous if consumed by man or animal. Small amounts may cause paralysis and death. Contact can cause dermatitis, and the plant juice is highly toxic. This plant is native to Europe and the Mediterranean region. It was used in ancient Greece to poison condemned prisoners, famously Socrates. In North America, the Kalam and Snohomish Indians considered the roots poisonous. The Lakota and Iroquois considered the entire plant poisonous. Lookalikes would include Queen Anne's Lace, and other members of the Parsley family. As for the plant's medicinal value, the Klom Indians used it for a love medicine. The roots were rubbed on a woman's body to attract the attention of a man. As for the Western's medicinal view of this plant, according to the King's American Dispensatory, the actions of this plant is a narcotic, sedative, analgestic, spasmodic, and anti-aphrodisiac. Poison hemlock has been used to promote sleep, for excessive action of the heart, as a sedative, for cancer treatment, convulsive cough, and to treat tetanus. Because this plant is so lethal, here are the symptoms of poisoning due to ingesting poison hemlock. Symptoms appear 30 minutes after ingestion and last for 10 to 40 hours. The results are thirst, dryness of the throat, dizziness, sickness of the stomach, numbness, exhaustion of the muscular system, and in large doses, the pupils dilate, there's paralysis, difficulty talking and breathing, and coma or convulsions resulting in death.